I don't normally run these kinds of things. It's okay, we've never done it before. You'll have to forgive me, I'm really nervous. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it! Oh god! You've ruined it, it's too late! No, I don't no. want to ruin the green light super show. Okay, this should be good. Yeah, that's looking like it. Yeah, look at that, everyone. We did it together. Um, and then how was the, how's the sound for everybody? Chat, sound good? Chat's fine. Can't hear the music. You can't hear the music? No. Um, about you, might now. Be able to, you might not be able to hear the music if you're not um, oh, watching playing the, the game. Stream. Oh, I'm not, yeah, you're right. I'm, I'm in the Skype version, so who knows? Yeah, we, we're not going to hear it. Oh. All right. Yeah, I'll let you guys sort out the sound levels. How's that, <laughs> chat? Good? Awesome. Yep, that sounds, sounds like they're good. Not too All bad. Right. It's a good level. Great. We're going to do this. This is Retro Booster. Uh, this is a, a really neat game. Um, we're joined uh, by everybody. I'll let you guys do the intro. This isn't my show. What am I doing? I'm taking it over. <laughs> it's totally your show right now. No, please. Well, not really. It's actually the dev's show. Yeah, it's not our show either. Yeah. Take All it right. away. Okay, I'll I'll take it away. I'm 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 Terry Welsh. I'm I'm a one-man video game shop uh, called Retro Booster, and uh, the guy who did the music for this game is in the chat room too. That's Kevin. He's at uh, subatomicglue.com. Wait, I was gonna paste his his link too, or he'll paste it. Okay, right. so, and you're gonna play with the Xbox controller, right? I am. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So why don't you walk me through? You said something about wanting to start me at a higher yeah, go, level. Yeah, go go hit new game and, and go to level 12. So, right. so the first four levels are in the demo, and I figure if everyone can download the demo, there's no point in showing that because, you know, they can just download it. So we'll start you at something different so How do you people can see a little more of the game here. Difficulty? Probably only humans still, right? Oh, you could probably do something better than that. Oh. <laughs> well, all right, we'll go foolhardy. Let's risk it. Don't do yeah. Galaxy of Blood. Yeah, what? <laughs> no, no, Galaxy, uh, Galaxy of Blood. Uh, okay, how about Rocketeer? That'll be good. <clears throat> Number of players, the, the one. The default's level two. That's fine, yeah. Okay, great. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and start. Okay. Oh, I, yeah, go for it and start. I, I issued a challenge like 20 minutes ago in Twitter. I said if they get us up to 1,000 viewers, then then we'll show the meat planet. So oh, if anyone wants to tweet. Somebody better get on that. to tweet that. All right, so uh, why don't you kind of walk us through what we are, what we're looking at right now? As I'm gonna get hit by this, I just got hit by a bullet. Okay, so this is this is going for a, an old school classic style cave thruster or a cave flyer with a thrust ship, which uh, is you have, you have, a little squirrely. You, I like it. Have though. you oh, like asteroids and lunar lander and gravitar? Oh, yeah. Have you played those really good ones? Um, there's more recent ones like pixel junk shooter and gravity crash and stuff. Um, I, I always like the, the elegance of a, of a thrust ship because y you've got you've to point the way you want to thrust, but then you've got to point a different direction to shoot, so you're flying sideways a lot. Yeah, it's definitely it's the, the, the um, oh god, I <laughs> just picked up a guy and got nailed. Uh, the, um, what is the, the, yeah, the physics of the game are crazy, uh, and I imagine that that's, I mean... I've never been in space before, but it feels like I'm in space. Right, right. There's there's no drag on your ship at all. It just it's free floating. There's there's gravity pulling on it, and you use your thrusters, and that's it. A um, lot, lot of the times when you play one of these games, they put in a lot of drag, um, so your ship can never get going too fast, or it oh, slows God. down if you let go of the controllers. I I, I don't like that stuff. Um, I think games do it too much. Um, yeah, we're easy. not we're not. We're not little sissy this, girls. We want hard no, no, this, stuff. This is, this is going for old school difficulty. Oh, so it's that style of game, but but <laughs> going for old school difficulty. Okay. So if if you <laughs> if if you slow the ship down, I think that's targeting the the audience where you know your publisher says, oh, this has to catch people in 30 seconds, or we're not going to publish it. And that's not giving people very much credit. So this this game's got a higher learning curve, but but once you get the flying, you can do a lot more with the gameplay because instead of just being a shooter it's also about the flying <laughs> i'm out of control oh, i'm out of control stop it uh so what is uh god this game is first 
So for being something, ah, oh, damn it, I died. All right, so, so for for being, uh, you know, it's. I don't want to. I'm always afraid to say certain things when developers are in the room. Oh, go go um, ahead, just say it. No, for so for being something that seems like a fairly simple concept, the game looks a lot more like robust and um, kind of more in depth than it than it may appear right away. And I like that a lot. And I mean in terms of everything, the environment looks great, the graphics are wonderful. Uh, when you blow something up, the explosion looks very realistic for something that uh, I guess what was that? Some sort of mm -hmm. Tesla monster? Um, yeah, kill it. If it's shooting at you, shoot at it. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so I'm not good. Beautiful. I, I like I like starting with a with a simple concept. You know, it's it's a it's a cave flyer, but with a really responsive and nimble ship. And so so on that level, it's simple. <laughs> but then if you add the really detailed physics and you add a big variety of levels, then that that's what adds the complexity to the game. And that's what I'm going for. Uh, what's the main objective here? To survive to the end. <laughs> and there are people that you can collect along the way. Right. Uh, the people give you a lot of score, and they repair your ship a little bit. And uh, actually, the, the biggest reason for those oh God. is, well, well it's, it's a classic uh, cave flyer theme for starters, but also the later levels have all these crazy enemies that give you a lot of score when you kill them. Um, but on the early levels, you get most of your score from rescuing people, because they're worth a lot. Um, and it's kind of tricky because you can squash them and set them on fire and stuff. So, <laughs> and soak yeah. the alien. Yeah, we have we have squashed and set on fire a few, definitely. <laughs> Just testing this game out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's it part of the fun. You, well, it makes the... you feel guilty. Yeah. But you know what? Apologize. They shouldn't just be What's... walking around this kind yeah. of terrain. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Not saying you deserve it, but seriously, get out of the way. But but it's a survival game, so there's got to be a little guilt from squashing the people, you know. Just... Unless you're like me and you have no conscience. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not really a psychopath. <laughs> For people who don't know me, ah, oh, son of a uh, game over. All right, let's do this And that's again. okay. You, you should die a lot on your way to the end of this game. I think so, too. Actually, uh, let's see here. Can I go... I'm going to abort the game, just because I'm curious. Um, okay. We're going to go there again. I'm doing Galaxy of Blood. <laughs> <laughs> you told me not to, and anytime somebody tells me not to do something, I'm like a child, and I want to do it. Uh, so we're going to check it out. Uh just so the audience can see what Galaxy of Blood's all about. Uh, when, um, so, Calvin and Alex made a game that they, that is extremely difficult. Um, something like this that is also very hard for you as a developer, uh, can you, can you beat this game? Uh, probably, you know, I've never played it from start to finish, because I just finished building levels. <laughs> but I think I probably could. Um, one, one thing I've been doing a lot so lately bad. is uh, tuning the difficulty. Uh, just because I'm getting ready to send it off to testers. So now that I got a full set of levels, I got to send it off for crazy massive testing. So there's there's been a lot of tuning going on, but I think I could probably beat it. The the final level, I had to I had to tone it down quite a bit before I could beat it. It was too hard. How long did you work uh, on the on just getting something that you're able to like? How long did this take to get to this point? Oh, like five years or something. I I started this in 2007 as a as a hobby project. And I was just doing a little bit at a time in the evenings, and, and it was just taking forever. So uh, several months ago, I just quit my job, and this is what I'm doing now. And it's going a lot faster. Yeah. It's going a whole lot faster. How good does it feel? Oh, I just burned him. Look at him burned. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm going to put him out of his misery. I'm sorry. <laughs> Some, someone in the chat's asking about the engine used. This, this is made with uh, open scene graph for the graphics, which is used more in the viz sim industry, but it's a good high-level rendering engine. And uh, I'm using SDL for windowing and input devices, and I'm using SDL Mixer for sound. So it's sort of a Frankenstein game engine, a few things put together. Oh god. Oh god. Alright, we're getting out of control again. Well, it does well because the effects that you're doing don't look like anything else. <laughs> oh, that's good, thanks. Yeah, I, I, I very early on I, I worked hard on perfecting the, the flying physics and the particle effects. Because I figure in a game where all you're doing is flying and blowing stuff up, those two things have to work really well. 
Absolutely. Um, All right, this is much harder than uh, I think. It's because what the the it doesn't seem like there's too much more going on, but the damage is uh, way more substantial. Mm. Yeah, there, there's a lot more. So you get more dam on this harder level. You get more damage okay. from crashing into things, and and the enemies shoot at you a lot more frequently and with faster shots. So you have to be yeah. Oh man, you've got to be really nimble with the fingers if you're using the. Uh, yeah, you got to learn how to fly it. But I mean, if you start from level one, <clears throat> I'm being cruel to you by starting you on level twelve. It's well, then I'm being cruel to myself by putting it on the <laughs> hardest difficulty. Yeah, that too. <laughs> I so like not... to be punished. It's it's not looking good for the meat planet. We haven't gotten to a thousand <clears throat> viewers. We haven't even gotten close. So guys in chat, everyone, uh, grab your twitters and your facebooks and post the link to the Greenlight Super Show. Twitter.com forward slash robot loves kitty. Let's get a thousand people in here because I want to see this meat planet, and 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 I like to get what I want, and you all should too because it's gonna be great. And I'm gonna cry if not. <clears throat> Absolutely. I I will also weep openly. On oh the god. Screen. Oh god. I don't want to go through that. That looks like a huge sort of chemical fire. <laughs> so shoot that, shoot that button underneath you. Oh, I missed it. Oh, the button. <clears throat> yeah, go back and shoot that button. I'll show you what happens. Is it gonna crush me? Did I just? No, it's not gonna crush you. There, <laughs> see, there, right in the bottom of your screen, that block came up. Now it's going down. Yeah. So you got to get under that before it closes. Hey. Uh, so, so, so go to the left. I'm assuming very quickly. Oh, I'll just let you figure it out. But yeah. All right, cool. Well, everybody, <laughs> let's let's. As Sam Jackson once said, hold on to your butts. Hang on one second. Here we so, go. So another thing that's really common in, in cave flyers like this, other than rescuing people, is uh, is uh, hunting for fuel. So I, I threw out the whole hunting oh, for Jesus. fuel concept. <laughs> Sorry. I thought I'm, it's been... <laughs> I'm just going to... Crashing. More fun. Oops. I, I threw out... Hmm? So, so you didn't do that at all? The hunting for fuel? No, I threw it out completely, and I was—I was just going to tell you why. It's—it's—it's a—it's a, it's a real common theme in these games, but uh, I think it's been done enough. It's just—it's kind of been done to death. And and uh, in this game, I wanted to have these flying challenges. Like, so he shoots that button, and then he flies underneath and tries to get out. And oh. and if if you've got to repeat a challenge a few times to get it right, you can't really be looking for fuel because you'll just run out of fuel and die. Um, there, there's also puzzles in this game, and so like I use the force fields and stuff to put puzzles together. And and uh, if you're running out of fuel while you're trying to solve a puzzle, well, that's no fun. So yeah, the world is turning around me in this one. This is grand. Mm. Yeah, this is a, a round level. Oh, I love this. Ah, cool. Like, oh, that's awesome. There's just you, you something. You know those games like. Go ahead. You, you know those games like Choplifter and stuff, where you you go off one side of the world and you come back onto the other. Oh yeah. It sort of wraps you around. I I always thought it would be cool to do that in 3D because with with 3D graphics now, you can just make a round planet, you know. So. So it's awesome. like a, a an old school thing that people used to do in games all the time, but I'm I'm doing it a little different. Oh, oh what is this? What is this? Yeah, no, it's um, <clears throat> on my eyeballs. It's a little. Uh, it's not. It's not really hard. It's, it actually. I don't know what what's going on. I'm dying. Is what's going on. Uh, just Don't visually me. having to do more things. Should I not have gone in here? I feel like that was a bad choice. That was good. You you just you just lost most of your health by crashing into an alien, but you killed him, so that's good. Oh yeah. <laughs> Get out of here, stupid alien. So so this is this is your first puzzle. Oh shit. I think this is the second puzzle in the game. <clears throat> okay. All right. Hang on. I'm gonna die. Ah, I'm gonna die. But yeah, you picked a puzzle level. Well, we'll show some variety. I like puzzles. Yeah, yeah, it's good. All right, get that out of here. Are you sorry. still on Galaxy of Blood? No, I <laughs> knocked it back down to Rocketeer. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> um, which I should even be on the very first one. I'm, I'm just sucking up a storm. All right, so now oh, Linux, those Linux are Game gone. Consortium just posted my free demo in the chat. That's cool. Heck yeah. Thank you. Check out the demo, guys. <clears throat> and after you play it, upload it on Greenlight. Totally. Duh. Good call. Dude, why wouldn't you? I, All right. I agree. That's I think I idea. failed the puzzle. Because, uh... Oh, wait. Oh, wait, hang on. You'd, you'd figure it out eventually. I've seen people take between, like, 20 minutes and an hour to figure this one out. 
You guys have an hour, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. It's not like All it could right. be done in eight minutes or anything. We're out. We're out of there. And I didn't complete the puzzle, so I probably have to go back in. <laughs> oh, God. All right, I'm just going to do this for a minute because I want to look how beautiful this is. Uh, look at so that are puzzle. You get, uh, are you getting the hang of the controls at all yet? I am, yeah. Uh, the controls are good. I like... It actually, for me, is almost more helpful having the uh, the planet wrapping around me. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Yeah, it kind of freaks people out at first sometimes. <clears throat> once you kind of get used to it, and it's it, it lets you build levels that are that are different and interesting kind of ways because you know you can wrap around and just do different level layouts that way. All right, what did I do? Did I do it? No, I didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, this this could take you a while. You could try a different level too. Hint, hint. Hint, hint. <laughs> hint, hint. Just hey, to show Josh, a little more variety. Stop it. That's all you have to say. Hey, Josh, stop. All right. What's, uh, what's the next one in line there? I'm actually just going to yeah, see where one. the... Uh... Oh, man, there's a ton of these. Oh, yeah, don't go that far. That's That stuff's, that stuff's not ready to show. I really hope there's, that Bowels is just flying through somebody's butt. You fly into no, their no, butt. No, no, that one's not ready for showing. I feel like I played that game, like, 20 years ago. No, no, no. Well, there's, there's been a lot of games like 20 years ago. All this right. Just, uh, do we do Grinder? Do Grinder, yeah. All right. I'm going to actually drop it down to only human. I know, guys. <laughs> I'm only human. It's hard to imagine. Uh, but I want to actually get a little further. Uh, what do you find when... Oh, the meat planet. What... Yeah, 571. What were you going to say? Um, when you have... Um... When people play test the game, do they like it better with the controller or with the keyboard and mouse? Everyone seems to be different. Uh, that's why I kept them all in. Um, I, I like nope. keyboard and mouse, but you know, some people just like controller better. I'm gonna kill all of the silos. Ooh, this is cool. <laughs> I want to. Uh... Oh, so yeah, oh, actually. Man. actually good point though when 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 people try the demo it's good to it's good to try all the different control types because everyone likes something different i think it, it defaults to, it defaults to keyboard keyboard because that's just what everyone has plugged in but if you have a usb controller try that too hmm. did i get him yeah i got him all right nope no nope. get away get him there we go oh don't let him suck you down Oh, that's a little... It's still killing me. Oh, that's what that is. That was, that was Interesting. He wasn't, wasn't killing you, but if he pulled you into the ground, he would have. Uh, yeah, I'm like one hit away from dying here. Like, this guy, he smells death. And he knows he wants to take me out. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Oh, it's homing! It's a homing missile! So I should I should tell you about the scoring, then. There's... You you don't have a big score yet, but there's a, there's a scoring system partly for replayability. So you know if you if you finish surviving the entire game, you can go yeah. back for high scores. But also, the two are kind of integrated because if you get uh, if you get score multipliers, if you if you kill a lot of stuff in rapid succession and you're you're doing a whole lot of damage, you start getting score multipliers. You'll get a two x and a three x and a four x. But when you're getting those, you also start to get more uh, weapon and power up tokens. So like right now you don't get weapon and power up tokens very often. You don't see many of those appear, but if you're getting a lot of score multipliers, you will. So, so it's good to be kicking ass the entire time. Mm -hmm. Um, I would love to be kicking ass the entire time. Oh, what's that? Oh. All right. Let's... Yeah, but this is totally unfair because you started on level twelve. So yeah, that's yeah. What's up, bounce shot? Nice. Oh, that's that's yeah, that's a power up. Oh, point, this so. is gonna be totally helpful. But it's running out. There's a timer in the upper left. Oh, there would be. Use With it while you got luck. it. Shield recharge. Oh, there's a there's another question on the, on the chat. The state. This this level is is pretty close to complete. Um, I I want to add some more artwork and stuff and and do some optimization. Uh, as far as I am so far, I've I've finished building a full set of levels. And I want to send that off to testers real soon. I, I haven't I haven't gotten into major testing with a lot of the levels. Um, and after that, yeah, it's just optimization and testing and artwork and stuff. So that's that's as far as the game is so far. 
Uh, I really like the soundtrack a lot too. It really, uh, just in terms of tone, matches what we're kind of looking at. Also, I know that your sound guy is, is in chat right now. I'm just curious to know, uh, I can't really read it, but what his um, ins kind of inspiration is for this. It's very industrial and I get kind of like a Nine Inch Nails slash KMFDM vibe. Uh, maybe like old industrial rock slash metal. Skinny yeah, puppy Kevin, even. Kevin, tell him where you come up with this stuff. And and tweet your uh, tweet your homepage again, or post your homepage in the chat window there. That's one thing that, uh, and I don't think people take it for granted, or maybe they do. But a soundtrack of a game can really just kind of enhance the experience to a really nice degree. Absolutely. Yeah. So so I put I put this music in. I've known Kevin forever. I I I. So he's like the first guy I thought of when I wanted music, and then. Uh, I took a bunch of his old tracks and I put them in the game, <clears throat> and then Tester said, "Hey, who wrote the music for your game? It's perfect." And yeah. I was thinking at that time maybe I'd ask him to write me some more music, but everyone just liked it the way it was. So I was like, "Yeah, let's just use this. It's great." Oh, I'm... dang it! This is great. Thank you. All right, let me pull up these barracks. Oh wait, humans! I need you to fix my ship. I promise I won't burn you much. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. So yeah, we're, we're we're getting low on time. I should let's see. I was going to tell you about uh, just. Oh wait, just there's the a dude there. Get away from oh, get me! Him, get him! Get him! Oh, oh. I think you got him. Your score's going yeah. up. So yeah, with the levels, um, a lot of these games, uh, it's all about rescuing people and finding fuel so you don't die. So with this game, there's definitely some rescuing people, but it's mostly for score. Um, I wanted to I wanted to give people a new variety of levels for a cave flyer. So the levels are, are oh mostly God. giant battle levels or flying channel flying challenge levels or shooting levels or, or uh, puzzle levels or or a combination of those. Um, oh, another question in the chat: the laser coming out of the front. Um, the laser is mostly to help you aim. Um, also, if there's a lot of explosions going on uh, and you can't look right at your ship, sometimes it's easier to tell which direction you're facing by looking at the laser. So it's kind of there as a visual aid. And also, um, it'll help you distinguish the foreground from the background sometimes. So it's, it's got a few uses. It's very I, I always helpful. like that with game design. If, if you can get multiple uses for one thing, it's, it's just sort of an elegant way to do things, I think. Mm, yeah. Oh, another thing that you should definitely point out is that this is not just a single player game. Right. 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 This, has, uh, this has four player split screen uh, co op and deathmatch play. Ah. That's so amazing. Up, up to four players. You can do two, that's, three, or four. That's totally amazing. Yeah, I love it. When I first went in there, I saw co op. Uh, I'm not much of a cooperative player because I want to kill everybody, but uh, <laughs> I would love to check this out with multiple peeps for sure. That's cool. You are you are free to play at any time and and show people multiple peeps playing. Yeah. Uh, where can everyone find out more information about the game? You want to plug all of your social networks and your website and all that? Besides the um, obvious green light page, you should go to an upvote for on with. Yeah, I think they'll. Uh, <clears throat> I think they'll plug in the uh, the green light link and stuff. I'll post my I'll post my Twitter. You can find me on Twitter here. Uh, what is it? That's actually, chat. that's uh, at Terry M Welsh. Yeah. And and there's the Steam link that just got posted by Moobot. And I'll post my website link here for the game, so you can go to the the game's website and download the free demo and stuff. Awesome. Sorry, I'm not paying attention to the clock right now. I'm trying to like really. <clears throat> We are sadly at the at the ending point, and it's time to switch over to influx. Um, I'm just getting Joe on the call. He should <laughs> be here shortly. All right. Well, you know what that means, oh, guys. Killed the oh, you killed the person. Oh yeah, I did it on purpose. I'm a madman. Uh, since we do have to go, I'm just gonna try to make a quick run through this whole level here and see if I can do it without dying. Because <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's a game over. <clears throat> All right, guys. Uh, excellent. That is a whole heck of a lot of fun. Uh, that is Retro Booster. You guys should all check it out. Up for, up for, eh, upvote it 
on Greenlight. If you guys haven't seen the big list, you can go to robotloveskitty.com forward slash super show. All of the links to all of the games that we've been playing are on there, and you can click them and go upvote, and we highly suggest that you do. Awesome. Thanks cool, guys. for playing, Josh. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for letting me. The game's amazing, and I, I hope it does really well. Uh, best of luck uh, in your future Greenlight endeavors, as well as everything uh, after that. Uh, yeah, all sorts of good stuff towards you. Thank you. Thank you. And, and Alex and Calvin, thank you for doing this show. This is amazing. Of course. Oh, yeah, thank yeah. you for stopping by. Yeah, thank you awesome. for being part of it. We I, like your game. I couldn't miss it. This is great. Yeah. <laughs>